hello hello and welcome back to another video um <clears throat> this is a part is it seven or eight for shoe collection um i got two new dunks dunks and dunks and dunks and dunks and dunks and dunks I'm also sorry if you can hear the laundry in the background. I forgot that I was going to record a video and I loaded the washer and dryer, so sorry if you could hear that. But anyways, I will start with the first shoe. I feel like I should move my drink. Okay. So, the first dunk is the Nike Dunk Scrap in the Cell White Seafoam Glass. But yeah, these are a really good, like, cool pair of shoes. Um, here. They're really, really comfortable. I think this is the most comfortable dunk I've, like, worn, so, like, thus far. I feel like the other ones really hurt my small toe, but, like, it's still comfortable. It just, like, kind of agitates it. I feel like I'm supposed to have the shoe like this. Like, like this. Like, this isn't supposed to close because it kind of looks goofy when I like closed it because then I don't know how to explain it I feel like it's supposed to be like like this or something I don't know I might put the lace back on and close it it just feels like it looks weird but I feel like it looks weird just leaving it on like, like this as well I don't know let me know how I'm supposed to wear these but these are really really cool they have this like i really wish i would have brought the ring light camera out here um but it's got this like really subtle yellow and it's got different material i've noticed so most of it is leather let me just do a good 360 of the shoe so cool stitching right here I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background too and then the front and this is what would be like the inside of this shoe so you still got that really cool stitching here and here and then the back and then of course the bottles and the top so um one thing different from uh, like i've noticed about this pair of shoes is that it has this right here like the logo is a little bit different than the other pairs um but i like it it's a really cool pair of shoe um it's got different things going on so like this right here it, it literally looks like scraps like they just like they patchwork <laughs> but yeah sorry I feel like I keep hitting the mic but this right here is this like so this one is just like fat but then on the other side it's got this like other block like of leather and this is white like this is like a like a cream white this is like white this is like a subtle white like baby blue gray right here this patch right here is gray but then on the other side it's like I can't tell. It looks... It's not gray. 
it's not the same type of gray as this one. It's a lot lighter. It's almost like yellow, but then you have like a subtle yellow here and here. The stitching is yellow. You got black. Damn it, I keep hitting the mic. Black Nike logo here. Black. This is mesh. This is a leather right here. This is mesh. And then you got more mesh right here, like baby blue mesh. And then even the leather has different textures. So, so like here, it's just smooth leather, like what's on every Nike pretty much. And then these have like a different texture leather. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There we go. So this is more smooth. This has more patterned, like textured feeling. <laughs> Pair. It's also like thicker, so it's honestly a uh, really comfy pair. I think these might be my favorite dongs just because they're so comfortable. I mean, I have to wash my hands, so I'll just touch the bottoms. But I bought these off from a friend for $125 in American dollars. Um. But they retail, not retail. I went on StockX to see how much they were, and they're about 150. So they saved 25 bucks. But yeah. Um, they're comfortable. I I wore them all day on Sunday. Um, I went shopping with my fiance, my mom and my brother, we went to Omaha because Omaha has outlets. Omaha, Nebraska. Um, it was a lot of fun and like I said, I walked all day in these and I also used them Saturday night because we went out to the bars, which is really fun. I would love to live in Omaha, but it was a lot of fun. Really comfortable. Didn't hurt me. It almost felt like I was wearing like, like, um, like those like very thick squishy like tennis shoes almost it was comfy and like this is really comfortable yeah these are just so cool they're just so dope really comfy they're like out there without being too out there it's like a subtle out there but these are awesome and these once again are the nike dunk scrap c wait no what's that word sale white sea glass. I have the box right here. I should actually like say it like I don't keep the boxes. I throw them away. <laughs> I just feel like it's clutter and I have a shoe rack where I keep all my shoes and I'd rather just do that than keep them in boxes. But you do you if you like it. Personally it's just I like to keep things organized and I feel like that's just too much space. It, like the box takes up too much space. But yeah. That is the first shoe. On to the second shoe. So, I have the box for this one right here. I haven't thrown them away because I don't I don't know the name of these. I I just know that they're dunk. So the next pair is the Nike Dunk Low SE uh, Dutch Green Multicolor White. <laughs> these are half a size down. I don't know if I said this, but, um, and in women's, I'm a size 10, and in men's, I'm a size 8 and a half. These are a size 9 and a half in women, and a size 8 in men. These are so cool, but they hurt my small toe. They, they're, like, a perfect fit, um... It's not that noticeable that it's like a size down, nothing crazy, like they fit like eight and a half, like, like my shoe size, but these are really cool. I can't, I don't know if you'll be able to, oh, maybe here, you can't really see it, but yeah, I'll just go through the shoe. Um, 
these are the Dutch greens multicolor dunk 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 low S E. I feel like I should have done a shoe review of the shoes I bought for other people. I brought my brother a pair of Nike Dunk le like retros and they're cool like like this year's like a co like mocha color and then this is like black brown I don't know it, it's really cool but yeah let's focus on this pair so this is the outside look you got what does this say it's New York don't know what that word don't I can't see that it's like NY NY but then here it's got like a tiny 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 like a Nike swoosh these are cool um so it's got white and it's got like that texture white too with the Dutch green right here more of that Dutch green with this like reflective oh I, I think I got it reflective orange it's so fucking cool and then you got more of that textured white Dutch green orange Nike and then the inside of the shoe got that swoosh that re like reflective orange swoosh textured white that smooth dutch green and then this is what the top of the shoe looks like sorry i just hit the mic but the cool thing about this is that this right here also has that reflective orange so it looks really fucking cool but yeah and then this is different it's got this like see-through like bluish tint for the bottom of the shoe I can't really I can't see what it says <laughs> like I can't read it it doesn't say, does it say anything else on the box it doesn't say anything else which is kind of frustrating but it has a QR code I might check it out after the video but um I can't really make out what the bottom, what it says. I know it says something about a park here. And then fourth. I wish I could tell what it actually says, but they're really cool. I need to clean them. They got dirty, but I've been wearing these a lot. They're just so cool, and I didn't realize how much clo of my clothing like goes so well with this shoe. It's just... And then the inside is just orange, like a orange color. My cat, you'll hear my cat purring, trying to make biscuits. There's my cat. just see my cat in the corner of the camera staring at my phone but there's really not much to say so I think I'm just gonna make some sounds with these I don't know how to like uh, I haven't been able to use my the spare bedroom for anything like that's technically supposed to be the um, spare bedroom slash office space but it has just become like a storage unit we just bought a a bedroom set so it like the giant bed frame and headboard two side tables like nightstands and a dresser and we had to take out a bunch of stuff from our room and we just put it in the spare bedroom so everything's just chilling there and i also need a new 
gaming chair because my brother just stole mine. <laughs> but it's okay, I found a couple cheap ones that are nicer than the one I had. But uh, I'm gonna try to get that room done so that I can have that space for videos. Because right now you can hear everything. Everything, 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 everything. I think the dryer is the only thing running right now. I don't know. I can't tell. But anyways. I think this will be the end of the video. I think I'm done with shoes. I feel like I have more than enough and I've donated some that I now wear nowadays. There was like a pair of shoes, my like Converse that I didn't wear for a whole year. So I'm, I'm donating those and I'm donating my Nike Pegasus. I do need a pair of running shoes. I feel like if you've been on this channel for a while, I feel like you can tell I've gained some weight just based on my face. So I'm gonna try to get back into running and working out again. But other than that, I, I don't think I'll be getting any new shoes. I have more than enough. <laughs> I know there's some people like, oh, what's, is it Maddie Tingles? He has like hundreds of pairs, it seems like. That stresses me out. Because then I feel bad for the shoes that I haven't worn and it's just a whole thing. So, I like having a nice variety. So, I think the next video though I will be making will be a what I got for my birthday haul. My birthday's on the 12th, so next Tuesday. So I think that will be the next video. But as of now, I think I am done.